locked up on a $5 million bond accused of assault with intent to murder his girlfriend. The attack caught on camera, video that Fox 2 obtained exclusively through a Freedom of Information request. As a warning, what you're about to see is disturbing. That's Paul Bashi alone in his rental home in Washington Township. Whether he knows it or not, cameras inside his house record his every move. He is, in fact, looking through her phone. And then you will see Christina come through the door here, which is the front door of the, the residence. What happens next to Christina, the girlfriend of the assault suspect, is the reason investigators at the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office are watching this video. He comes back multiple times with multiple knives. With multiple knives. The attack, much too graphic at times to show. He's got the knife in his hand oh, there. Ooh. He's striking her multiple times. For 40 minutes, the video shows Bachi punching, kicking, throwing lit candles at her repeatedly, and worse. Stabbing her multiple times. Leaving the room at times, washing the knives before coming back to attack. He's opening the drawer, grabbing another knife. Little, if any words are exchanged, just rage. She's just laying there. You can see she's, yeah, not, she's fighting. not fighting back moving at all. No. She survives, but barely, in a coma for days. Bashi arrested after neighbors find Christina on the porch and call police, charging him with assault with intent to murder. This video, as awful as it is, thank God we have it. Evidence that is hard to argue, at least you would think. During his arraignment, an unlikely witness takes the stand for his defense, Christina. Told the judge, wanted to dismiss the charges, um, wanted the defendant out of jail, and, and told the judge that, that it was her fault that this happened. After being beaten and stabbed inches from death, she wants the case thrown out. Prosecutor Eric Smith says it happens in more than half of the domestic violence cases that end up on his desk. Our office handles about 2,500 cases of domestic violence a year. And of those cases, nearly 60% of the victims either recant their story in the court or don't show up to the court at all. He says whatever the reasons given, the law allows his office to move forward with charges. The defendant puts pressure on the victim to dismiss the charges. Well, we are the only ones that can dismiss the charges, so we don't do it. And he's willing to talk about this case because of how clearly it illustrates what can happen in these situations. If you see someone going through this and you think someone's going through this, even if they say they're not, because th th they're afraid to come forward in any way, shape or form, and it's a difficult thing to do, but you, you got to put yourself in there and help. Now, it's worth mentioning, in addition to assault with intent to murder, law enforcement found a controlled substance in the house, steroids. The prosecution thinks the defense will try and argue roid rage in the case, but they say that's no defense for what was caught on camera. And at, we just showed you a part of it. Oh. Forty mm. minutes this attack went on. Uh, and she is so lucky she survived. Yeah, she's alive. Yeah. Now, is she still in love with this guy? Are they still together? We tried to track her down to get her side. They, they've since moved out of that house, who, and there's new tenants there. Uh, but one would, you know, argue from her testimony in open court that she wants this, t this case dismissed. She wants to go back in with him. It makes you wonder the control that mm -hmm. is over these people that are in these domestic violence situations. You heard him say 60% of the cases, the, the victim recants the testimony. And they don't have video evidence mm -hmm. in all those cases. So that's why he's calling this a blessing because it's here. It's in, in plain black and white. You could see everything. And so far we haven't heard from the suspect. No, well, he's, he's, he's locked up on a $5 million bond. And they tried to get that bond reduced. It was denied. All right. Well, we know you'll continue to follow this case. All right. Thanks, Dave. Hey, thank you. And you, you mentioned it. It, it. It's absolutely shocking because it happens so often that you find people, despite their injuries, the victim in this case told investigators that it was her fault and that she did not want her boyfriend to be charged. And apparently, this is not uncommon. Less than 40%, as you heard, of the 10 million women attacked every single year even report the abuse. And one local expert says in order to fix this, we need to start asking the right questions. We need to stop making it easy for abusers to do what they do. Stop asking the question about why do people stay in abusive relationships and instead start asking the question, why do abusers do what they do? And we have to start holding them accountable as a society. 
Now we want you to take a look at the number on your screen right there. If you think you are in an abusive relationship or you know someone who is, call the number on the screen, 1-800-799-7233. This is a free call. Someone will answer 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, the